This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Chat me up about Vader on Boy Meets World. It airs on January 19th. Uh, he's in the Vader character totally. He's the father of a middle school kid who I guess is a bully uh, named Frankie the Enforcer. And you guys would expand on that Boy Meets World relationship once Vader was with you guys, right? My good friend Mark Blutman was creator of uh, Boy Meets World. And Mark is a huge listener of this show as well from day one that like wrestling incorporated the Vader character into the show as the father of the, the one kid on there. Um, and Vader's appearances on there, he, he did a few, uh, not nearly as good as, uh, the boy meets world, uh, 400 pound men and 16 candles that also starred, um, one of the most charismatic, uh, of all time from WWE brother love, who was, play by play guy and ring announcer and pretty much stole the show. <sighs> Let's get to the rumble itself. Uh, this show gets 41.4% thumbs up. I didn't have time then to do the, you know, the Hollywood career and the other thing. So I had to make a choice. They wanted me bad. <laughs> 41% thumbs down. <laughs> <And> <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna be it was gonna be a fat guy joins the world i don't know but fuck. <laughs> fat guy in white suit red shirt joins the fucking world he loves everybody hey there's a goddamn original fucking gimmick i'm just telling you i didn't have time it was a big whole it was a big whole thing a lot of people don't talk about it because it was big it was gonna be real big conrad i'm telling you chat me up about this if you would have fucking goddamn ever seen that you wouldn't gone back is all i'm saying all right this is the first time i'm ever letting it be known that there was this huge hollywood by god they were knocking on my door um just whenever i'd order one but um just saying that uh yeah big pl huge plans Goddamn screenplays and fucking scripts and scrizzips and everything. Just like all kinds of scripts were coming my way. Just saying that that's the thing. You know, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> you know what I'm saying? See, that's kind of, that's why you listen to this fucking show. Because you hear shit that you never heard before. There. Okay. Okay, none of that really happened, but could have. The show gets I, got, I got residual. This is, this is a true story. This is fucking. I got residuals from fucking Disney for a uh, fucking Disney. Uh, <laughs> I got residuals from Disney for good Lord, maybe 10 years. And at the end, you know, like when you do shit like that, the, you know, the first, the first couple are decent, but then they get down to like 14 cents. Yeah. And then seven cents. And then two, and that two cent one goes on forever, and it costs more money to, mail it. to send that two cent check than the. And that two cent check, by the way, will fuck your taxes up. You've had that happen. I sure as hell did. I had to. I had to get a hold of someone at Disney to beg them, please. Is what do we have to do? I need to sign off my, my rights to the residuals going forward. Please take me off of the list of getting these two cent checks because it goes into the IRS and Disney's a huge company, but you're talking about for a year, like I made mean, nine cents for a year and they sent me a 1099 and that just fucking throws everything out of whack. Nine cents. I know it sounds crazy. It's like you. Why are you even reporting nine cents? Because they sent me a fucking ten ninety nine. I kept. I kept waiting because I knew the scrizips were coming in, and that you know there would be a lot more than that, and it would get sometimes maybe get back up to that sixteen forty two cent area. I could live with that. Is that your uh, low key Michael Hayes impression? What's that? You're talking about, 
I had to make a choice. You know, I don't talk about this very often. No. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.